In this video, I'm going to show how to take the Euclidean rhythm generator, uh, which you see right here, um, that I described in my video number seven, and show how to adapt that to work with automatonism, which is a, I guess, like a virtual modular synthesizer built in pure data. And it uses bangs slightly differently, so there's just a couple small changes we can make to make this work. And this is the first. This video is going to be the first part of this, and then I'm going to make another video where I show how to do like the CV control kind of stuff to, uh, to make it so you can control it by LFOs and that kind of thing um, to make it more useful in automatonism. But that'll be a, another follow on video after this one. So, first, I just want to show how we can modify the inlet and the outlet to work with the other modules in automatonism. So first, let's take a look at the clock. The clock is a good one to look at because it has this on-off inlet, um, and it has the output, which is the clock signal. And so you can see if you look inside it that neither of them are actually accepting a bang. They're accepting a, a signal, and it's outputting a signal. And so what we could do is just copy these, copy the inlet and the threshold, and then copy all of this stuff that and then if we go back to the Euclidean and I'll just paste it over here for now and so all we really need to do is take the inlet out and replace it with this and then take the outlet out and replace it with these things And that really should be all we need to do. So I'm going to save a copy of this. I'm going to call it Euclid 3. You can call this whatever you want. And then from there, uh, we can just look at a small example of how it works. Um, I'll use uh, just a snare sound, and then, oops. and then we'll use the clock. And so, for starters, we just hear what this sounds like. So there's just the snare. Essentially, the clock is just triggering the snare. So here I'm calling the Euclidean rhythm generator. I'm saying 8 beat length uh, with 5 hits in that, equally spread out in those 8 beats. So you can hear the difference. Change it to seven. Change this number to anything you want. Oops. anyway, there's how that works. And then, as I said in the next video, I'm going to show how to add some sliders and, um, and have some like CV control over this thing um, to make it more playable in the context of automatism. And then just to come back to it, I wanted to show again that uh, this is where I got the... I more or less just copied this Euclidean rhythm abstraction um, and modified it slightly for my for my needs. Um, so I don't want to claim credit for that. This is where I got it. Uh, thank you.